In this video, we're going to be discussing the commercial driver's station, part number 17000. Let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the box here. So we have the panel and we have the resettable fuse and the three controller hookups. So one thing that you'll notice is that these controller hookups, they have a cap on them. Most likely you're going to remove that unless you're using like banana plugs. You just want to unscrew these two small um, jam nuts. You can pull this out. You will unscrew it. It has a little washer on there. I usually don't put the washer back on, but what you'll see when you place that back in, now it looks like what you're used to seeing. You can clip on it on the sides here. I prefer to go on the top with the alligator clip. Um, it has threads there, so it actually gives the teeth something to grab onto, and it's not as opened up as the um, standard clip style. So you want to put these jam nuts back on. The first one locks that post into the housing. Um, usually you want to you want to snug it up pretty good. I use a little piece of 16th um, piano wire. It fits right through that hole there. You could grab onto that with pliers, um, but this is just a cleaner and easier way. If you have something around, you could use a 16th drill bit. And then I usually use pliers on this end. I'll go ahead and cinch that up tight. So just moving on, we will pull the lock washer or split washer and the nut. And this white one, we always put it in the center. I actually don't use the split washer on the back just because I like to have more threads back there and it just doesn't really need it, but you're more than welcome to use it. This is 11 millimeter or 7 16 once again, you can use the, um, the wire or pliers and tighten that up. I usually will use a little bit of super glue from the panel to the nut and from the nut to the post just so that they don't come loose. Um, that's up to you. But you would repeat that on all of them. The middle one is the only one that has to be... Um, specific to the white post just because your resettable breaker is going to go in um, right there in the middle hole and when you install this you have two uh, terminals here you have a line and a load and the line is going to run from your power supply to the the line and from load you're going to run from there right down to here what that does is uh, the white is power in so when you hook your controller up you're going to be power in with white and you want that breaker or fuse to be between your power source which is your power supply and your controller so that's pretty much the basics um, these are pretty trick these save you from having to buy fuses. Um, if it pops, it just sticks up and you can reset it and go. If it happens more than once consecutively, I would recommend that you check the track, check the wiring. It's typically the car that is causing it. Um, and a lot of times when you have people over for races, somebody might throw something on the track that they're you know, they didn't test it at home. They didn't have any way of testing it and they're using your track to test it. And this is a little bit of a safeguard for that so that it doesn't destroy anything, but um, it's a pretty trick feature. So you just repeat on these binding posts here and you'd have yourself a driver station. Thanks for watching the video on the commercial driver station. Uh, for more videos and to just keep up to date with what we have going on here, make sure that you uh, subscribe to our channel. You can check out our other videos. Also, if you have other methods of installing these or suggestions, make sure that you uh, put it in the comments. We'll do our best to respond to everybody's comment. We like input 
And also, if you have video suggestions, we're always looking for new stuff to make content. Thanks.